bot arrow, whatever that is. Here, you take it. Ah, uh, Todd! For me? That's so sweet! <gasps> Mauricia! <gasps> ah! Can't move! I can't bear to watch you suffer so! I will avenge you! <laughs> What? But I don't pick on her. She picks on me. Aha! Uh -huh. Then the problem is you, Todd. Yeah, Todd. You need to be a better student. Huh? Sure. That way Mrs. Jules can be a better teacher. And you can give her a better grade. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. I work harder, but she gets the better grade? What a brilliant idea, Todd. Uh... Let's help you get started. <laughs> I've always blamed myself for not taking better care of King Arthur. After that, well, I never felt right about taking care of another pet. Really? Well, a pet is a big responsibility. Mm -hmm. And to teach you about that responsibility, Todd, why don't I take the entire class out for a fun time on the playground while you stay here and watch all our pets? Yay! What? But Mrs. Jules, I, I, I couldn't take care of one little fish without it dying on me. How am I gonna take care of all these animals? Oh, you'll be fine. See ya. I don't think that's very responsible of you. You, 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 you. Is that it? Because there's a few things I'd like to take care of myself today. Just make sure you complete my list first. <laughs> Look at all that paper. Toodaloo! <sighs> okay. Ugh. I can do this. I will do this. And I'll do it better than any principal has done before. Oh, Principal Todd, I got in trouble for passing this love note. And Mrs. Jewel sent me to your office. My office? 
Mauricia, I don't have an office. But I broke a rule. And I'm not really the principal. You can give me detention. And I have this whole list. Detention by candlelight. And I'm trying to fix this broken school and- What about my broken heart, Todd? Can you fix that? Like I said, I'm not really the principal. I mean, uh, I'm not the heart fixing, uh. See you later, Mauricia. See, I also designed something I call the cleanie beanie. It's a hat that washes your hair. Hmm, do you have a prototype? Well, funny you should ask. I was working on a mock-up the other day. Brilliant! And we're back! So, tell us more about this amazing new cleany beanie mm -hmm. that is so smartly stylish and affordably priced. Well, when you just don't have time to wash your hair in the morning, you put it on wherever you are, give it a spin, and shampoo. Now, if I could just figure out how to shut it. So order now, while supplies last. Help, Mr. Kidswater, get this thing off of me. Action! Back away from our fort, Todd. What? It's our fort and our stuff. We built it, we prepared. Oh, it's all about you, 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 isn't it? If you had just decided to survive with me instead of everyone else, we wouldn't be having this problem. What? So this is all about you? No, you. 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 You want action? I'll give you action. Action! Yeah? Stop! What are you doing? You'll destroy us all! Yar! 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 You! I'll be playing you, Mr. Kidswatter. I'm going to be studying your every move. I hear that's how actors prepare for a part. Of course you will, my young protege. But I warn you. I am an extremely sophisticated and complex character. Oh, popcorn! Hmm. Interesting. I'm going to be more kid swatter than even kid swatter. <laughs> popcorn! And when he makes that face, it just completely makes my day. Woohoo! Oh no, they both like me? strike, you protest by not eating. But what do we do if we get hungry during the hunger strike? Dandy of a question, my good man. Mr. Kidswater? Who? Sorry. Never heard of that wonderful man. I'm just a typical, um, whatchamacallit, like you. A student? Yes, one of them chappy. So, who 
need some awfully swell acts of civil disobedience to make your principal do the right thing. Civil disobedience? what We just want to keep the school here. And Todd's given us all these great ideas about boycotts and strikes. Ha! That's nothing. In my day, which um, is the same as your day, we didn't bother with boycotts. We just took over. Yes, I like the sound of that. Yeah, Todd. Why didn't you think of that? Because it could go even more horribly wrong than all of this? Ha! Don't listen to him. He's one of them. Them? No! Say it ain't so! Who's them? The ones that don't want us to do the right thing. <gasps> no wonder he made us stay in class and do all that extra homework. Uh, but no, I... Come on, everyone. Follow me instead. We'll take this place over right. Yeah! Ooh, time to take this protest into my own hands. Todd, it is me. Don't give up. King Arthur? Todd, I have come to tell you that my death was not your fault. It wasn't? No, you always took good care of me. Some fish just don't last very long. Tell me about it. But, King Arthur, what should I do? Mrs. Jules put me in charge of taking care of everyone's pets, and I have failed them. Todd, animals and people are not that different. We all rely on our herds, our flocks, our schools of fish. Of course, schools of fish or schools of kids. I don't have to do this alone. I, I can get help from my friends. Great idea, King Arthur. Thanks. 